Today we're going to use Momma Art Lab to create our very own bad kitty. And in the spirit of bad kitty, your kitty is going to be doing something bad. So you need to open your iPad to this screen and look for the app that says Momma Lab, M-O-M-A Lab. Tap it. And if it's new to your device, then it'll end up at a tutorial screen. If there's an X in the corner, you'll hit the X in a minute. So if your screen looks like this, the app has been used before. If it does not look like this, and there's X up here in the corner, then you'll have to hit it. All right, before you can start your kitty, you should decide on a background. So over here, those boxes on the right side, when you tap them, it changes the color of your background. There, I chose purple. Then down here, we have lots of shapes. Now, Bad Kitty is mostly made from geometric shapes or shapes that have names like <gasps> triangle, square, circle, half circle, oval, etc. Okay. If you don't like that color, because hey, is Bad Kitty red? No, he's not. We tap the color wheel and that gives us choices. And if you flip your finger, you get more choices from swiping. So, Bad Kitty's black. I'm choosing black. And then I tap the main screen and it's back. And I want to pick a shape that I think is a good shape for Bad Kitty. So I'm gonna hit a triangle, but I don't know if I like the direction of that triangle. So two fingers turns it. Also two fingers makes it bigger or smaller. Okay, I think I'll leave it that way. And then Bad Kitty needs some ears. So turn, move. And I want two ears that are exactly the same. So I'm going to hold it down on my shape and it gives me this menu. The first word says duplicate. That means it'll give it a twin. Hit the button, the shape popped up. Oh, there it is. And two fingers, turn. Shapes are easier to turn when they are big. When they are tiny, they are difficult to turn. If you accidentally put a shape on here that you don't want, <gasps> oh no, two ways to get rid of it. Either grab it with your finger, you hold down, you get that menu again. The bottom box says delete, and that'll make it disappear. Or grab it and throw it in the trash. Okay, so we're using shapes to make your cat. Shapes to make his arms. He's got a lot of black. Hold it down, duplicate. There we go. Then other things you might need to use the pencil tool for. So these lines all have different jobs. These curvy ones make curvy lines and the bigger they are, the bigger your line. And anything you don't want, we hit the eraser tool for. It will not erase any shapes. It will only erase pencil. The straight lines, that's all they do, is make straight lines. And one more time, the eraser tool. There's also an undo button, so if I draw it, I can hit the undo button, or redo if I want it back. Okay, I think Bad Kitty needs some claws. There we go, he still needs a face. So, eyes are yellow. And circles. Well, there's circles when he's scared. You shrink it down as small as you can. And I want one more just like it. Now, sometimes when you're working, these shapes are like construction paper. They layer on top of each other. So sometimes a shape might disappear. <gasps> I lost my eye! That's because I tapped twice in that spot. You can bring it back though. I keep tapping two times and it moves where things are. I've got my eyes back and Bad Kitty needs a face. 
which I will probably draw that because it's small. And once your kitty is made, figure out what he did to be bad. This is a bad kitty that I made last year out of shapes. I have triangles, circles, lots of triangles and circles. Then I use the line tool to make his nose. I use an oval and a half circle to make his face. But he had to do something bad. So there's bad kitty afterwards. He messed up all of mom's yarn. He's such a bad kitty. So work with shapes to make your cat. Only use the pencil tool for the teeny tiny things like eyes, little nose, little hairs, and then figure out what he's doing that's bad. And try to use shapes for that too. Like I used a circle for my yarn and then I drew lines on top. And this was the blue line tool so the yarn went everywhere. Remember, I still need to see your cat when you're done working. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with.